Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. Okay, so you've created an EC2 instance, or maybe more than one, and you don't need it any longer, or maybe you do need it, but not for a few days, and you want to save some money. What should you do? Well, if you click on your instance here, and then come up to Instance State, there's a few options. We're going to take a look at Stop and Terminate. Stop means that the instance is temporarily shut down, and you can use it later. Now, in most cases, your instance will have an Elastic Block Store or EBS volume attached. Think of this as your C drive or your main hard drive on your regular computer. It's basically a virtual hard drive for your EC2 instance. So if you stop your instance, that EBS volume remains so that it's ready to go next time you start the instance. All of your data, everything will still be there. With this option, you won't pay for compute time for EC2, but you will still be charged for storage used on that EBS volume. So just be aware of that. Terminate. This is going to be permanent. The instance is shut down and the EBS volume is deleted. So you're blowing everything away. And this will stop all charges for EC2 as well as EBS. So those are your options. If you just want to temporarily stop something to save some money, but you need it later, then go with stop. But if you're totally done with it, you can terminate to permanently remove everything. Hope that helps. If so, you might want to check out some of the other videos in my AWS playlist and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.